or it is also to the light to share the Marilyn series of x times sine x. To make life easier, I will first ignore x and let fx be equal to sine x. At point x equal to 0, sine 0 is 0. Then we just have to differentiate sine x with respect to x and obtain cos x. At point 0, we have 1. Differentiate cos, we should obtain negative sine. At point 0 is 0. Differentiate sine is cos, so which means that we have negative cos for this case x equal to 0, so we have negative 1. Differentiate again. Differentiate cos is negative sine, so negative, negative, positive. At point 0, we have 0 again. Differentiate again, so we should have cos. So at point 0, we have 1. If let's say the question asks for three non-zero terms, then basically we can stop here. Otherwise, we have to differentiate further. So assume that the question asks for three non-zero terms. So which means that sine x is equal to, this is the first derivative. First derivative means that we over one factorial since it's first. Then unknown that we use is x to the power of one, first derivative. So the value here is one. Then we plus, this is the third derivative. Third derivative means that 3 factorial x to the power of 3, and the associated value is negative 1. Then we plus, this is the fifth factorial. So fifth derivative, so we have 5 factorial, and x to the power of 5, so associated value is 1, and so on. Let's simplify, so we should have x minus 1 over 6 x cubed and we plus 1 over 120 x to the power of 5 and so on. So now what we have to do here is we just have to times the entire equation by x since we need x sine x. So which means that x times x is x squared minus 1 over 6 x cubed times x so x to the power of 4 plus 1 over 120 x to the power of 6 and so on and hence with that. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a like this. See you.